I'm not sure if the other infantry is going to really help out for this attack. Or if it's just mainly the Lancer doing most of the damage, but whatever. I'll pretend like they're helping out. Throw them a bone over here. Like, yeah, yeah, you guys are doing your part as well. Perfect. Oh, wow, nice. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Tiny Metal. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon, and I am super excited about this release because I've been following it for a very long time. I happen to be a really big fan of Advance Wars growing up. Game Boy Advance, DS games, I never played the original ones in the Famicom, because, you know, it's a Famicom, you know, unfortunately. Didn't really have access to those, but the ones in the handheld systems were so amazing to me. Some of my favorite military strategy series of all time. And Tiny Metal basically is... Uh, a bit of a spiritual sequel to that. You can even call it like Advanced Wars in HD, and I'm super psyched to check it out over here today. So here's what I'm planning to do. I'm going to do this video over here as a bit of a referendum for you guys. If you enjoy want to pick it up for yourself, all the information will be down below in the description. If you want me to play some more of this on the channel, though, I am totally down for that as well. You let me know in the comments, you let me know by leaving a thumbs up. But for now, let's get into Tiny Meadow here. リンドバーグ大佐と国王陛下はきっとまだ生きていてどこかで救出を待っているはずだそうだきっとどこかで国境沿岸を守る部隊として俺は国王陛下と大佐の乗っていた機体を探さなければ海ならきっと不時着し海
All right, I skipped through that because it's basically what we're kind of covered about, you know, reducing the unit size to lower the damage altogether. So we have this dude over here. Um, we could jump to the hills, as he mentioned. Sir, Let's actually come up orders? here. This will give us a 50% increase to our defense, right? So we could do that Infantry over on this side. On and weaken this dude considerably as well. 48% damage, 1% critical hit chance. Let's attack him from the hills over here and see what's up. And that should be really good for us, because we have like a 50% increase to our defenses. We lost uh, three fellas as opposed to four when we're in the forest itself. Not too bad. So let's actually move over here, get a bit more damage happening to them. And we'll just attack them straight up. We'll kind of worry about the lock-on later once we start dealing with some more tougher things. For right now, like these single units, not really too big of a concern. As a matter of fact, they should probably go down under attack itself. Unless they bring us down right now, which I really doubt they will. The counterattack should... Got it. ジパングもし国王陛下と大佐の上記が地盤部側に不時着しているとしたら公開された映像から想像すると大佐の飛行機は間違いなく反抗部隊の編成を行うリンドバーグ大佐見ていてくださいそうかとうとう動き出したのねこの機会を逃してはないアルテミシア軍に接触する時が来たアルテミシア軍に接触する時が来たアルテミシア軍に接触する時が来た
俺たちは好きで戦っているわけじゃない平和のためだあらそう私たちがその戦いの一部分でも引き受けてあげられれば平和の実現のお役に立てるんじゃない<笑>そこまで言うなら共同戦線と行こうかこちらはアルテミシア軍第一師団俺はネイサン・グリース少尉だ契約成立ねホワイトファングのウルリック隊は今からネイサン・グリース少尉の指揮下に入る私のコードネームはボルフラムよろしくネイサン隊長隊長無人の都市と工場を発見しましたよしあそこを占拠する確か建物の占拠はアクションコマンドの施設制圧を行うんだユニット内の人数に応じてポイントがたまり一定のポイントになれば占拠できる Alrighty so as you can imagine there's a lot of like story to give you the entire back notes going on over here so I'm trying to keep the commentary to a minimum when that's happening because I don't like to talk over you know story sequences so here you have a, a, a first buildings for us to capture which will allow us to develop further units for that particular mission itself so we have two to start off with and we have like our command center over here as well this is just a random city I want to say so we want to capture the factory right over here so let's Sir, have let's have you move More over here and I believe we have 10 capture points if you have like a full unit so if we capture this one right now, there'll be like 20. So now we're halfway through the capturing right there alone. And we have one more unit to move around. City will give us 35 and 100. Uh, I guess we'll probably... I mean, we could go to the city. I kind of want to come up here, though, because if we do have to deal with a, a fight right now, they'll have some advantage as well. So you know what? Let's just push up to here and avoid the city for now. And that should be about it for us, too. If we go up to the hills, we'll get like a better view of everything. Because those blocks that you're seeing right now are kind of like the fog of war, which we just cleared up right now as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. Alrighty. Do not explain everything to me, man. I've played video games before. So let's go ahead and um, finish up the capture right over here. And that'll be it. Perfect. Now we can basically make units from that building or that factory going forward. Now let's see. There's another city up here and there's more forest area as well. Honestly, I want to attack them first. Attacking first is very important in this game, but I don't know where they're at at the moment. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chill right over here. I'll let them come to me and see how it plays out. So let's just end our turn right over here and see what they're up to. Hmm? Right, we covered that before too. So unfortunately they're not pushing forward right now, which is what I was hoping they would do. So let's go up to the hill. We can go up to that one. So we can only move up here. Wait. Alrighty. Really not much going on here just yet. But we should be able to bring up another rifleman, so let's do that for a hundred. Right now we have 400 in the economy, so we have the Yat one right there. They won't be able to move until the next turn over as well. Uh, now unfortunately, as much as I really hate doing that, I do want to see what they're up to. So let me move over on this side. So hopefully they move on top or to the right. They don't get any defensive bonuses themselves. There you go, perfect. So I was hoping that they would basically attack me from just flat field. They did hurt us first, so we'll be a lot weaker for this one. But we brought down only two. Not great. Not great. Alright. So that might be like data and intel for us in the future. Uh, let's see here. So you are gonna kind of really outdo us in terms of damage right now. Let's move this extra unit down to the city. I guess we'll capture this building for some more economy coming in as well, and... I'm not really too crazy about how we're doing here. But if I move back that person, that other unit's gonna probably come after us anyway. So at this point, we might as well just attack them first, I would say. So let's just chill here, attack this way. And hopefully we just do enough damage to lower them a bit. Two more down. We'll take some casualties right here. Three more down, yeah. We're, we're not looking too good on that one on this side. 
But luckily we have this guy over here capturing, so I could just capture the rest of it or go up there. If you leave the capturing, I believe it resets back to zero, so... It's up to you how long you want to chill here or if you need to, you need to move Awaiting around somewhere orders, else. Uh, let's see. Infantry on the move move forward. That should give us some more fog of war cleared up. That's the strange building I think that we're talking about too. Let's come over here and get another rifleman as well. We might pick up a couple of lancers here as well, which are a little bit better against the... Oh, he decided to move. That's all right, we got the city defense over here. Now they did lower our capture points at the moment. So they brought us down to like roughly eight, I would say. So we won't be able to capture that building next turn because of the casualties we just took. ライフルマンでは歯が立たないわね。でも、大戦車歩兵なら対抗できそう。all right, so we're going to be dealing with some enemy tanks, finally. Mm. Yeah, at this point, this is kind of like a throwaway, so... I would say... I'm not sure if we could bring them down. Maybe, we're kind of like even, actually. We might be able to finish these dudes off right now. Because we're roughly even right now. No, only one. That's going to be a struggle for both of these dudes to come down with no attack power left over. Alrighty, so we cannot take over that. Let's see, we should be able to finish it off with this um, rifleman over here. Unfortunately, the guy above me, though, will come out over here and take advantage of the fact that we're in open field. But at least I'm going to get rid of these two out of the way already. And we'll keep the other unit just kind of capturing that building. We'll take an extra turn to do that, but at least it'll be captured eventually. Alright, excellent. And I guess we should probably even get this Lancer up and running. If we have to deal with those tanks, right? So yeah, let's bring up the Lancer now. And then you, my friend... Hmm... I don't want to give him access to the city, although he might just go after the city initially. But we cannot reach him right now, so let's see, you just go into... Capturing. And we need one more turn for that. And then I'll just move over through here for now. We'll see what their moves gonna be. Alright, they're not going for the city, look. <laughs> and that'll be the end of this unit right here. Just a scratch. Man, not surprised about that. Struggling completely. So the tank's up there moving around, you can kind of see like the dust moving. And then this will be our capture finally, so... Get that out of the way. We should have more. Oh, we also got promoted to attack boost to 10% as well. Very cool. And we now have a bit more income coming in so we can make some more units going forward. Let's see. You guys unfortunately are in the forested area. I can attack from here too. I'm not sure if I could lock on and then assault to push them away from the forest. Not that it matters because all they'll do is just come back into the forest next turn anyway. Rifleman, ready and waiting. So at this point I think we just weaken them all together. So, uh, yeah. We'll just uh, attack them. I could assault them to push them out of there. But... The spot will still be free and they'll just push forward and get the forest back in there. So that's fine. At least we got the first hit in so we took the primary of most of the damage for that one. Now let's see you. Hmm... We know that tank's somewhere up there. This might lure the tank over to us, but we do have the lances over here ready, so that's fine. Excellent. So they got two dudes over there. No damage to us. Alright. Now, Lancer. I don't, want to, I don't want you taking first damage against the tank, so just jump into this field over here and just chill. And since we got some money, let's get another Lancer as well to see how we deal with that tank coming forward. My Knight 2, for all I know. Lost one. They're going down right now, right? You gotta be going down. Down. So I think all we have to deal with now is the tank. There it is. And again, if we use the forest, we'll have the advantage. We could also use the city. Perfect. So my Lancer can come over here and just chill. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start using some lock-on. Because I think we can kind of gang up on this dude. This Lancer will not be able to do any damage for this turn. But I'll move him into position in case he's available next time. Wait right here. What I'll do is I'll move you lock on. You lock on. Then we'll send Lancer over here and send the assault off. So let's see here. Uh, these infantry units are going to be terrible against the tanks, I'm pretty sure. But we'll just lock on. And then 
you will also lock on. And then we should have like a three-way assault here. Focus fire. Alright, so we'll do 52% damage, so we'll at least bring him down halfway. I'm not sure if the other infantry is going to really help out for this attack. Or it's just mainly the Lancer doing most of the damage, but whatever. I'll pretend like they're helping out. Come on, you Throw him a bone over here. Like, yeah, yeah, you guys are doing your part as well. Perfect. Oh, wow, nice. And we, I don't think we even, oh, we lost probably one unit in that one. Perfect. And we can bring somebody else if we want to. I don't think we even need it at this point. So let's just go ahead and, and turn. Can you even damage with only one tank? Yeah, yeah, you'll bring two down. That's about it. All right, we got this. Oh, you know what? Do we? Oh, we didn't capture that building. Oh, we didn't yeah. capture that. Okay, hold on. I, I got it, though. We could capture with you, and then you should be able to move over here and finish that off. I'm sure, right? Explore. Explore. Okay, so we got a soldier diary. Not sure where you checked that out, but we'll figure it out. And now, rock this dude. Over. All right.腕前はそこそこね。ま、私にとっては地盤軍なんてどうでもいい。それより、オルジオが<笑> Which gives us... Gold. It does same, right? Yeah. 211 for the score. Yeah, we got that one already. Cool. So there is that. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Like I mentioned, the game is a little bit, you know, story heavy because, you know, you gotta, like, learn everything going on and they're going through the entire tutorial. So I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Tiny Metal, as I mentioned. Advanced Wars inspired. If you're into that, I think you'll definitely love this one going forward. If you want to see more of this on the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know if leave a thumbs up, but we can indeed do that. All the information for the game will be down below in the description in case you want to pick it up for yourself. I believe it's for Steam, PS4, and a couple of other consoles as well. I will catch you next time.